I have pretty much settled into my summer break routine, but I can't help but think about this past school year. I am amazed by how teachers around the world exercised incredible flexibility when we had to unexpectedly move into full-time remote learning for the rest of the 2019-2020 school year. And I think about my team, for example, we collaborated on a level that we had never done before. And what I found to be even more remarkable was how much we learned from each other, although we were physically distanced and away from many of the resources found in our school building. It has me wondering, why did professional learning in this environment work? Is it something worth examining going forward? Let's explore it together in this week's episode. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Teacher's Tribe podcast. I am your host, Maxine McFarlane. I have participated in numerous professional development sessions over the years. Many of them, I must admit, enhanced my skills in the classroom, while others, quite frankly, felt like a waste of time. Oftentimes, PD opportunities that are mandated are not as meaningful to participants. And, unfortunately, they do not meet the intended purpose. This is my perspective on PDs when I, when I end up in situations where they are mandated. Out of respect for the presenters, and I really appreciate the time that they invested in preparing for the training, in order to be respectful, I would force myself to stay focused and participate. I want to make it clear that I understand that some types of training need to be mandated and that's important for cohesive school operation or safety requirements, assessments and grading systems, those kind of things. On the other hand, I have attended sessions that had me so engaged that the time flew by and I couldn't wait to get back to my classroom so that I could implement new strategies that I learned in these sessions. The global pandemic has provided much time for purposeful reflection. Amidst the uncertainty pertaining to the upcoming school year, I believe that teachers should position, as teachers, we should position ourselves to support each other like we've never done before. Just like the remote learning experience that brought us through to the end of the school year, we will be moving into another unprecedented situation. I don't know what model will be implemented in your school system, but regardless of the model that is chosen in your part of the world or the country, we will do better if we heighten our collaboration skills. In my mind, this is the perfect situation for something that I'm a huge advocate for, and that is teacher-led professional development. If I may quote Brian Aspinall, he said, Sometimes the greatest PD is the teacher down the hall. And I totally agree with that. So many times I've knocked on my um, co-workers doors just to ask a quick question and or they have come into my room to ask a question. And we learn so much from each other. What if teachers could be afforded more opportunities to choose their own professional learning sessions? And I know sometimes we get to do that but I'm thinking of a structure that is more uh, deliberate, something that is planned and that we could take the initiative on. Is it possible for administrators to allow teachers to exercise more professional judgment and determine their own areas of need? I wonder if feedback from teacher evaluations could be treated like formative assessments allowing us to seek out opportunities for improvement as needed. Allow me to share how this truly came to life for my second grade team this year during remote learning. So as a professional learning team or PLT, working collaboratively, we were able to identify our individual areas of expertise and support each other as needed. We have quite a diverse team with varying levels of experience and backgrounds. And I am just amazed at how well each of us 
we're able to use our skills and experiences to support each other. For example, technologically savvy members supported those who were not by providing on-demand guided instruction. A team member may not be as familiar with a tool and someone would just immediately volunteer to get online with them in Google Meet and walk them through it step by step. Online tools were used to demonstrate how to design lessons. Applications and other tools were introduced and templates were provided. And this just happened naturally with just out of a request or just recognizing the need to support each other in that way. Resources and ideas were freely shared as we came together to provide instruction for our students. It was no longer my 20 students in my room, but it was all the students on our grade level. We exercised flexibility to accommodate the varying needs of team members, as well as the needs of the students. I also noticed that as challenges arose, or different areas of expertise just organically came into play and created fulfilling experiences. With a sense of satisfaction, I am happy to say that our team came out of remote learning stronger and more cohesive. I attribute a major part of our success to the high level of autonomy that this unexpected situation facilitated. Because of COVID-19, we just got into this situation and we trusted our professional training and experience. And this was truly a breath of fresh air and it proved to be very rewarding. These experiences were just the fuel that I needed to come to terms with what I have been feeling in my heart for a very long time. I believe that school leaders would benefit from encouraging teacher-led PDs and it's about time that we, teachers, advocate for ourselves in that regard. If I may quote PJ Kaposi in Education Week Teacher who said, the issue with professional development is that almost all training provided by districts would fail to meet the standards of instruction, personalization, and engagement they hold their teachers to in the classroom. And that is often very true. We have to differentiate for our students, but how often does that happen when we have to sit in on a training? Is it engaging or is it just simple, simply a presentation with somebody talking for an hour? I also found an Education World article that succinctly captured some of the ideas that I believe administrators and those in charge of making decisions and implementing educational policies should definitely consider. The article is entitled, Teachers Teaching Teachers, Professional Development That Works. I'll share a few quotes from this article that expresses how I feel about teacher-led professional development. And I quote, If you're not capitalizing on the expertise of members of your school's teaching staff, your staff is missing out on the most effective professional development around. It's professional development tailored to your school's culture and needs. That is such an important point because we are the ones in the building who understand the culture of our school and also we're on the front line seeing the needs of our students. So we're really in the best position to provide professional development and support. The article continues to say, Teachers Teaching Teachers is an area that the Whitney Point New York Central School District has been working on intensely for a few years. We call it building leadership capacity, Jeffrey Isaacs told Education World. The district's program provides many opportunities for teachers to step up and play active roles in peer training. We have teachers leading training workshops and in-service professional development. We have had several book talks and periodically we devote time during faculty meetings to mini presentations and sharing ideas and strategies, said Isaacs, who is the assistant principal at Whitney Point High School. I believe that teachers are the best professional developers, added Tracy Thomas, principal at Coldstream Park Elementary Middle School in Baltimore. Teacher-led professional development fosters accountability, 
collegiality, professionalism, and pride. Teachers feel appreciated and respected for their contributions and knowledge, and they become confident and more competent in their own teaching practice. End of quote. I could not have said it more clearly. This is exactly what I believe. Teachers, I know that after a few weeks of summer break, our minds begin to wander back into our classrooms. I encourage you to join me in reflecting on your strengths as an educator and consider how you could share that with your colleagues. I am also pondering how to better advocate for myself so that my colleagues and I can benefit from each other's expertise and ultimately impact our students in more meaningful ways. Head over to my blog at www.theteacherstribe.com for a simple template that you can use and share with others on your team as you contemplate how you can participate in teacher-led PD opportunities in the upcoming school year. Until the next episode, walk good and one love. Thank you.